Okay, so this is a tutorial how to make sounds or edit them within Audacity. So I have just a simple sound. It's a free sound effect that I want to use. I'm just going to drag it, drop it, and press OK. So at the moment, it sounds like this. So I want to slow this down so I can exaggerate it. So I'm going to go here and just reduce the speed and press play. I'm going to adjust this to my body. Okay, I'm going to stop. And then I only want half of this, so I'm just going to select this. And I'm going to delete it. Then I'm going to export the audio to any destination, any folder, and then just call it a relevant name. Press OK. Then I'm going to do a new one, and I'm going to choose another sound. And I'm going to do the same process, go and drop it in and I'm going to slow it down and I am also just going to select it and I'm going to go to effect and I'm going to add an echo and preview. Changes back to one. And maybe speed up. Okay. After that, I'm just going to select all of this and I'm just going to delete it and export. project and I'm going to get the sounds that I've just made this one drag it drop it okay and this one so they're both in the same audio file here So for this one, I want it to stretch a little bit more. I'm going to go to Pull Stretch and Preview. Okay. And then it's just going to do that for you. So that's stretched it out massively now. And then to get these to come faster, I'm just going to select this area, delete, this area, delete, this area, delete, and this area, and play. I'm also going to make this faster, just deleting this bit here. And again, play. Okay, so now I want to get these segments pretty much in between each stop of the first one. So to do that, I'm just going to shorten this down 
Let me know that was a bit too much. So this roughly falls just after this. At least just after this. And because it's pretty much a constant sound, it flows quite well. Okay, so let's say if it wasn't a looping sound or something that was continuous, you can click on this, copy it, paste it. So you have another copy, and I'm just going to leave this out. So if this is the sound that I wanted. You know, this is the bit I want, but I want it at a certain time. Press this, and this will let you slide it anywhere along the timeline, and basically place it. And then let's say you wanted this and you wanted it to repeat over here, you can just copy and paste it and it will repeat. So if you wanted an extra sound, let's just say that yeah, and drag it in. Press OK and you just want maybe this weird sound bit here, delete that and delete that, zoom in if needs be and maybe stretch it a little bit. It might not do this. Have a look. So that's pretty creepy. Let's have that. And let's say I want to put it in between here and just reduce the gain and pan because the stretching has made it pretty harsh. And let's say. Yeah, I want this and I want it here as well. And that's a bit too far, so you just drag it, put it there. Click on this, go back. So you notice it's quite loud. Just select that and then do a fade in and a fade out and that's one way of doing it I just prefer it that way it just makes it quieter and then just get rid of that take that copy it paste it paste it in between Move it around, get it where you want it, in between, and then play. track goes on for quite a while. I don't want that. I'm just going to select it, delete it and carry on until I get to here. And I also want this to be consistent so I'm just going to copy it, paste it and then use this one to move it back. And then I'm going to go to the start of my timeline and I'm just going to play. Okay, 
Okay, so once you're happy, you just export your audio. Call it whatever you want, create the soundtrack. Save. And this is going to say it's going to be mixed down, so all these charts go through one instead of like the three separate ones. That's okay, that's fine. Okay. And you can also save your project as a audio project file and save that and they basically what it was saying when you're saving it is just it's not going to save it as an audio track it's going to save it like this so they're just telling you about the different exporting and saving types when you're saving but don't worry about that it will open up on this case. So there's just a few basic things to edit and alter the sound, make it slower, add sounds in, cut them, paste them and drag them around. So thank you for listening.